Synthesis is important to guitar players if they want to sound like something other than a guitar. We provide two dedicated types of synthesizers. The first one is the classic synthesis. This combines uh, frequency modulation, uh, classic subtractive synthesizer, which is like a mini Moog or an Oberheim, and we have some trigger noises here, and uh, we'll listen to a few of these sounds. You can tell that our analysis and synthesis work really well together and uh, let you do pretty much anything you want. This is set up to follow our amplitude. If we wanted it to be keyboard-like, we would take our loudness curve and turn that off. And the sound would continue in a traditional manner. Now we can put a shaped loudness curve. And all that's coming from just the dynamics of the strings. Uh, here's like a pulse width sound. All very nice for pads. Here we'll do a little uh, minus pitch shift on that. We just moved it down an octave. All very easy to use and save. Here's like an FM sound. We have a two operator frequency modulation system. <laughs> Brings back memories, like a DX7. And again, bending. And we are still controlling it with the loudness curve from the guitar. It was not being controlled by the loudness curve there. A few other sounds, just to get you familiarized. Uh, here we have the, both of them on at the same time. Subtractive and FM. There's a blend knob here that lets you move between them. Some fades. And there are never any mistakes because we extract sounds from your guitar string and impose them directly on the synthesis without MIDI in these cases. Our built-in synthesizers use AIM, Acoustic Instrument Message, which gives a one-to-one -one mapping of the timbre, pitch, and continuous loudness of the string, which really makes it feel like you're in control, finally. Um, play you some triggers here. These are just um, triggers so you can hear how quick everything is. I'll do that again. Faster. So um, we're able to get triggers out in about four or five milliseconds after you pluck a note. And all of our pitch analysis is evenly uh, matched across the strings at a little under 20 milliseconds, which makes us uh, the fastest system out there, twice as fast as the competitors. We're going to go to another type of synthesis here. This is Sinful, which is a very powerful additive synthesizer from Eric Lindemann, and it gives you very realistic sounds that are uh, orchestral in nature. We can uh, do some tremolos here. And uh, we'll bring up some accompaniment. We can create very large sounds. Here we're going to bring up uh, a string section, which can play follow along with us. I'm going to turn off the sounds of the first six strings. And what we have here in the accompaniment section, I'm taking the last note that I play, running it through a table, which uh, spreads it out over several octaves. And we can transpose it. And uh, we'll show you a few more things in a minute. <laughs> Ties, but of course you could bend this as well. We have a bunch of cello sounds over here. They're going to be randomized, uh, plus and minus 12 semitones. And then we're going to shove them through a pentatonic filter here, which allows us to keep everything in the key of C major pentatonic. 
Last note played through a spreader here, in this case a series of octaves, randomized. I could put a minimum and a maximum. Pentatonic major, we'll go to pentatonic minor, and we'll go to the key of C sharp. <laughs> You can adjust the number of players to get it as thick as you want. Really quite beautiful and believable. Uh, spread here uh, adjusts the stereo spread across the stage. Detune here slightly detunes each of the players from each other. And again, all of these things can be controlled through modulation. And since we have eight notes that follow you around in accompaniment, we have eight modulation pages, so you can do very complex modulation of your accompaniment. We also have a very sophisticated uh, sustain, which can do a hold, which just grabs notes, a choir, which continues to pick up notes as long as the uh, key is activated and a replace, which allows you to acquire notes and then replace them as you continue to play. Taken all together, it's one of the most powerful musical accompaniment systems available for any musician. And for guitarists, yes, without a doubt.